Hey y'all, it's Flippin' Awesome Bella. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. I'm starting off a refinish of a little antique desk. I already wiped it all down, scrubbed it up with some of that um, degreaser. This desk was a little rough around the edges and had a few chips. So instead of trying to wood fill every single drawer, I went ahead and bull nosed the edges and made it all just a little bit softer. It really took a lot of sanding to get that old polyurethane and this stain off of this wood. But I really feel like the final product was worth it, especially since I had already had it in my mind that I wanted to whitewash all of this wood. Oh my gosh, so these drawers had liners in the bottom. I'm pretty sure it was like contact paper, but it was so satisfying to peel these chunks off of there. This piece was being very stubborn and it was so annoying that I couldn't get it off. I tried several different ways and in the end, I actually had to wait until I pulled the entire bottom out of this drawer to get all of those little pieces off. After I finished that first drawer, I had a few more to do in the same fashion. Sand down all the tops, make sure that I bull nose the edges, and then try to get that contact paper out of the bottom of these drawers. When I say I tried everything, I mean it. The screwdriver, I tried the sander, eventually whatever didn't come out. By me pulling like this, I warmed up with the blow dryer and it was way easier to do. I'm actually the most proud of this drawer here. If you look closely, you can kind of see that the left side is just a little bit less curved than the right. 
And so I actually had to not only bull nose this piece, but try to make that a little more even. To be honest with y'all, this was the most sanding I've ever had to do for just one item. Because I wanted to do the whitewash on the top and on the front of these drawers, they had to be sanded completely down. And it took forever. Thank God for my orbital sander and a very sweet and understanding husband who definitely tagged in towards the end of the day. So if you watch here carefully, you can actually see me evolve from a person into a gullet. <laughs> I couldn't get the bottom of this drawer off, tried everything I could, um, eventually I just had to decide to leave it. So before I stain or color wash any wood, I like to use this wood conditioner by Minwax. It's specifically made um, so that way it will help the wood not absorb all of your product. I went ahead and wiped outside of the drawers, inside of the drawers, all of it just because I wanted to give all of the wood a little bit of love and condition. And this right here is the outside, you can kind of see the difference with the varnish. And then I went ahead and did it on the inside too, it can't hurt. That also just kind of helps the drawers slide around just a little bit better. The new bases for these drawers are done. So that is what they will look like completed. Now just to do the rest of these. <laughs> this is that middle drawer for the desk. I had to do the paper, the wallpaper in the actual drawer and there were a couple little areas so I just used my blow dryer to heat it up, grab my little spreader tool here um, on the fuzz side and then just kind of push that bubble right out. I really don't like to wallpaper drawers especially you know while they're in the drawer I guess the bottom of the drawers if that makes sense and so this one was really hard to pull out um down here you can see the nail broke and then on this side it was like in the drawer and so it doesn't want to come out like the nail itself is still stuck in here and then the entire bottom is glued so like they either gorilla glued or something. So there was no option of taking it out. I had to do it in here. And so, excuse me, filthy room. But um, just kind of went ahead and put it in. I used my scraper and then I also used a pen knife to cut out the edges so you can see where they're kind of funky. Um, I do my best, but you know. And then... Yeah, just use the blow dryer to kind of restick everything and get all the bubbles out. Um, and now all I have to do for the dressers is legit varnish, or I'm sorry, uh, top coat all of them and I will be done. So this dresser is well on its way. 
and I'm really hoping to be able to get this done and then edit this video and be able to put it up on YouTube. So fingers crossed. Hey y'all, it's Flippin' Awesome Bella. Today I am using Milk Paint by Fusion. I actually got it, oh my gosh, my hair. I got it down where I get all of my other paints um, at Farmhouse Inspired in Old Town Spring. They were closing out of all of their milk paint stuff. She said it wasn't because she herself didn't like it. It's just that her customer base is not buying it. Um, but she said if I liked it, that you know she could definitely figure out a way for me to order more. So this is what we're trying today. It's called Millennial Pink. Uh, I don't know where I fall in that category. If I'm a, I'm not a boomer, or um, I think I might be Gen X. I was born in 1986. So I definitely was in that in seeing Backstreet Boys, not New Kids on the Block. Um, but I'm also not like BTS, if that makes any sense. So please go ahead and uh, comment below if you know if I would be millennial or Gen X. Okay, and so far this is what it looks like. It is a little thinner than I would like. And this one had primer, this container had primer in it. So I'm pretty sure that's why it's chunky. Um, which I'll, I spray pretty much everything, so that will be sifted out in a minute. But it's very thin. And I mixed it almost exactly. I did, um, a one-third cup of the powder and then one-third cup of water, which is, it said mix one to one. <clears throat> but there was a little bit more paint powder left over, so I went ahead and tossed that in. I mean, that's not gonna... Thin, thin, thin. So I'm still outside. Today was a sand and prime day. Um, so I have everything up here and I'm just priming it all out, getting ready for the next step here, which would be spraying. Um, I've never sprayed my chalk paints before. And so that's something that I'm gonna try on this smaller table um, and also decoupage. So I'm really looking forward to that. That's gonna be cool. This desk is the small antique desk that I'm flipping for Wednesday's video on YouTube. Please don't forget to like and subscribe uh, over on YouTube. Pretty much anywhere you see me, please like and share my videos. And yeah, so I'm going to do primer on everything one more time and then we will get that pink milk paint out here for this one. I do want to definitely go once more with primer just because you can kind of see like spots where color keeps coming through, little darky spots and stuff like that. Um, also the very first time that I did the coats on this one, I did it upside down just so that way I make sure that I get all of the areas and I'll paint it that way too. When I start painting I'll flip it over and paint upside down first. Um, again, just so we make sure we get everything. So stay tuned. Okay. So I mix this exactly like it said to on the container. It's gross. Um, it won't even through my strainers. And that's like, I added extra, extra water to that. And then the little bit that I did get to go through the strainer because the pigments weren't mixed properly beforehand, there's like a billion streaks. So for me personally, I'm going to say milk paint is a no thank you. Um, maybe if it was like a pre-mixed thing that I couldn't mess up like this, <laughs> cool. But it's just, I'm not, not happy with it. So we're going to go ahead and do Nomadic Blue by Melange. I'm going to go get that thinned out, strained and in the sprayer and I will update y'all in a second. I'm gonna go get a sponge brush because this brush is not good. And if y'all don't know this hack already, put a piece of foil in your paint tray so that way you can keep using it instead of having to wash it out. It really does help. And I'm having to use a paint tray because I switched out to a bigger brush. This would not fit in that little container properly and I don't really want to fight with it. 
I do have another item. The rest of this. are so convenient, especially for small projects like this. I even mix like wood putty in here so that way it doesn't go hard as quickly. Okay. Here. 